You know what? I know that some of you are probably struggling trying to wrap your mind around what happened with all of this narcissistic gang stalker activity. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why me? And you're probably pretty surprised about the people that were involved. Yep, you're probably surprised when you found out about some of the people who were participating in this narcissistic gang stalking campaign against you. Probably really took you back for a minute, threw you for a loop. But I came to tell you that it's time to stop asking why. It's time to stop asking why. Really doesn't matter why they did it. The only thing that matters is that they know and you know that it was wrong. But one thing I don't think they considered and that is when you treat people in such a fashion you don't have to you don't have to think about this twice but what you do comes back to you and so targeted individuals i want you to rest assured that their deeds will not go unpunished believe me they're going to receive back upon their heads 100 times the things that they put you through the things that they did to you it's not going to go unpunished it has not gone unnoticed by God and so you don't have to worry about payback or karma or vengeance or revenge because God says that vengeance is his that he shall repay all evildoers some people are going to wish that they had never lifted their hands up against you. Because everything that they did is going to come back to them tenfold. And the thing about it, think about this, targeted individuals. The thing about it is that you survived. What was meant to take you out, you survived it. And so whatever unclean, evil spirits that was at work in this, they're not happy at all that the mission was not accomplished. And so guess what? They're going to come back on those people who participated. They're going to come back on them. And everything that they tried to do to you those unclean evil spirits that drove these people to do things to people who were kind to them, who were nice to them, who went above and beyond to be helpful and a resource and a support. It's going to come back on them 100 fold because the mission was voided. The mission did not get accomplished. And anytime the mission does not get accomplished, someone has to pay. But let me remind you, you know, these narcissistic gang stalkers, they may come out every day and they may, may behave like everything is going fine. But you have no clue what's going on behind closed doors in their lives. Some of their lives have been turned upside down because of the dirty deeds that they've worked against others, against people who did them no harm, against people who only tried to help them, give them helpful advice, be a source of support, be a, a resource for them to turn to in times of need. These were the people who provided the bridge that brought them over, but they forgot about it. Once they crossed the bridge, they forgot about the bridge that brought them over. 
and they decided to burn that bridge. So don't you worry about payback. You can't go around burning bridges with people for no reason. You can't go around jumping into situations in which you have no clue really what's going on. You know, some of these people, they took part in something that they had no clue what was going on. It was, they jumped in it because it was you and because they thought it was funny and that it would be nice to see you hurt and that it would be funny to see you fall, but you didn't. And so now they have to pay. The ones who started it, the ones who jumped in it, and the ones who tried to end it, they all have to pay. But let me remind you, don't rejoice when you see when you see payback come upon their heads. Don't rejoice. Don't rejoice. God does not want us to go aha and point fingers and be glad when we see our enemies get paid back for what they did. Don't rejoice. The only thing I can say, and as far as as far as myself, what I've done, I've prayed for my narcissistic gang stalkers. I've prayed that they've come that they will come to know God in the free pardon of their sin. I pray that they will be delivered from whatever evil spirit that's driving them to perform this evil against innocent people. I pray that they will be delivered from that. I pray for their soul salvation. I pray for them. I don't wish any evil on them. I don't wish any harm on them. And you know what? They don't even have to worry about it. They're forgiven at this time. But just because you're forgiven doesn't mean that consequences won't come.